My home-built observatory, now a decade old, contains a Mead LX200 12-inch, an electronic finder and a Mead ETX70 piggybacked on the main scope. This is my second ETX70 which is portable. It's mounted in equatorial mode, in other words tilted so that the main axis points towards Polaris. On the ground is a battery pack so that I'm pretty independent. Here's the Mead uh, lens hood which just screws on. Alternatively you can just make one out of card and uh, tape it together. That again slips on the end of the OG. Normally in the flip mirror ports there's an eyepiece for viewing. But this can be removed. Uh, this is a CCD camera that replaces the eyepiece. This is a one and a quarter inch uh, screw thread adapter so that the camera can be attached to the telescope. And this is then placed in the flip mirror port for imaging. The leads of the laptop are connected here. This is a quick imaging tutorial using an image of M13 in a 4 minute exposure that is 12 20 second sub exposures. First we do a gradient filter to remove any unevenness of the sky background and then check the actual image itself. It's quite heavily saturated so we'll remove all of that make the sky nearly black and then do a non-linear stretch, quite a weak one and then just trim it back again like that and that's about it. We just uh, need to mirror the image because it was taken via a mirror in the telescope and was laterally reversed Note the small galaxy up here. Even the tiny ETX70 will vastly outperform the human eye applied to the same telescope when exposures are gradually increased as in this demonstration.